What's going on guys, Brick Breaks here, and today we're taking a look at the pile of shit known as the Transformer Studio Series Rise of the Beast Core Class RC. This thing fucking sucks. And I hate saying that, because uh, all the other Rise of the Beast figures are pretty damn impressive. Uh, enough stalling, let's just get into this thing. Where does one start with examining a train wreck? Now, this, here we have RC's alternate mode, which is definitely the saving grace of this figure. You get the cockpit section with the headlights and the front wheel, which can actually swivel because it is a separate piece. Well, going along, you can see some red and white striping at the, real, the rear wheel back here and the exposed hands and some highlights in a weird ass shade of pink. The bottom, you can see the head. There's the top, which at least it cleans up decently. This figure can roll better than Battle Trap and B combined, and can barely stand and cannot stand up. Comparison time. With here she is with B. Yeah. Bumblebee movie Optimus and. Uh, let me just point this out now. The scale of her alt mode is the sole reason RC is a core class. Hasbro, can we see a fucking deluxe in Studio Series? And not Studio Series, just the fucking main line that looks better than this? Here she is with Battle Trap. And here she is with the Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen RC. Which is smaller and can actually stand upright. Just one accessory the little hand blaster we see her use in the trailer. As far as weapon storage, the weapon storage on this thing is confusing, so I just end up pegging it into one of the hands so it makes life easier with the transformation. Plus, this thing can be really easy to lose. I think enough has been said and done said and done about this alt mode. Let's get into the transformation. Getting into the transformation. I'm just gonna bring that down. Untab the back wheel from to actually untab it, you unhook the arms and pop them off the ball joints. Where did it go? Fuck. There it is. Just pop it back on and pray to God you can get through the rest of the transformation. Just split all that and open just open it up. Swivel this section around 180. Push up the head. Bring down the arms. And then you're gonna bring the legs forward. Swivel the tire, and that all that will just rest right there, which looks ugly as hell, and I hate it so much. Unfold the knees, bring this tire in. Same thing over here. And there is this abomination called Core Class RC in robot mode. I hate this thing so... This thing looks ugly. Good head sculpt, I'll give it that. We got the faux chest, which, if this was deluxe, this would be the chest. We got the arms, which, when you swivel the biceps in a certain way, it just looks weird due to how the, the ball joints are positioned. With the midsection here, the thighs, which, on my copy, this one is ugly with the paint. I don't know how well it's coming across on camera, but in person it doesn't look too good. The wheel's back here, and uh, she has a lot of junk in the trunk. Now for articulation. Ball joint at the head can swivel, look up and down. Rotation at the shoulder, 
arm moves out. Tough bicep swivel, elbow. She has a waist joint if you get this out of the way, which you can remove it. It is just clipped in there. Hips can kick forward. Back that far. Out that far. Knees. That's it. Now, weapon integration. Just pegs in there. Once you have her posed, if you can get her posed, she looks okay. Comparison time. Here she is with Bumblebee and Battle Trap. Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. And Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen RC. Better design, better execution. So that's it for this one. Should you get this, if you have the Bumblebee movie RC, no. But if you don't have Bumblebee movie RC or you're a completist with Rise of the Beast like I am, then go ahead. That's going to be it for this train wreck. Like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BrickBricksOfficial. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.